Think of a world something like Jupiter. The atmosphere is turbulent and down deep before we ever come to a surface, it's very hot. If you're not careful, you'll be carried down and fried. So one way to make a living is to reproduce before you're fried. Turbulence will carry some of your offspring to the higher and cooler layers. The physicist E.E. E. Saul Peter and I at Cornell have calculated something about the other kinds of life that might exist on such a world. Vast living balloons could stay buoyant by pumping heavy gases from their interiors or by keeping their insides warm. They might eat the organic molecules in the air or make their own with sunlight. We call these creatures floaters. We imagine floaters kilometers across, enormously larger than the greatest whale that ever was, beings the size of cities. We conceive of them arrayed in great lazy herds as far as the eye can see, concentrated in the updrafts in the enormous sea of clouds. projects numeric symbols, the alien seems ready to respond. Ike flashes three symbols. The alien responds correctly with four flashes. This response triggers Ike to deliver the rest of the message. realize you were higher life forms. We will only operate in uninhabited areas of space. We are receiving a new message from the 10th sea. You are not one. How many are you? I believe they may not have any awareness of individual existence. They were also asking us to join them. <laughs> Oh, 